slice of doodles. Yum! Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Slice of Doodles. I know it's been nearly a year since my last episode at Bing House, um, and I sincerely apologize because I know this is everyone's favorite series, and it's my favorite series too. So in this episode, I will be illustrating Din Tai Fung. So this one is located in La Jolla at the UTC Mall. Uh, we didn't make any reservations. We just put our names on the list and we ended up having to wait for like an hour or so. We literally were walking around the mall just to browsing. Um, so if you ever decide to go to Din Tai Fung, take some time to just do stuff beforehand. So before going here, I didn't know much about it. I just remember months and months ago, um, me and my sister and my cousins, we even wanted to go to like a dim sum place. Like I didn't even yelp it or anything. <laughs> so I was kind of expecting it to be like a traditional dim sum place, you know, um, you know, old ladies pushing carts. And I was hoping there'd be like a Lazy Susan somewhere, but no, this place is like super modern and classy very high end um, the interior is super beautiful so when you first walk in you have a, this nice view of all of the chefs making the dumplings and it was just really nice to see the process um yeah so there was a like, this huge waiting room uh right across from it so yeah it was just nice to see how dumplings were made <laughs> so we were a group of six um, and we got a nice booth so we walked in and not knowing how to order and thankfully our, wa our waiter was just so helpful and just kind of pointed out like this is how everything's done um, I think it was like two orders per person and we all just would share all right so we ordered a few things um, this is going to be in no particular order. We got the sautéed string beans with garlic, chicken wonton with spicy sauce, chicken dumplings, crab and pork xiaolong bao, chicken fried rice, chicken fried noodles, sweet taro buns, and then the chocolate and mochi xiaolong bao. So, I must say, overall, everything was just so flavorful. Like we first started off with the string beans with garlic and that was just like delicious, okay? <laughs> um, just everything was just full of flavor and there was like not one thing that I didn't like. I mean, okay, so I actually didn't try the crab and pork xiaolong bao because I actually don't eat pork anymore. Um, I mainly just eat like white meat and seafood, so yeah, I, I can't say much about that crab and pork one, which is the soup dumpling. Um, but from everyone else's reaction, it was bomb. Like, that was, I guess, that was the one thing that the, the waiter recommended. 
Yeah, that soup dumpling was like a really popular thing on the menu, and he even showed us how to properly eat it. But yeah, everything mm, was just delicious. But if I had to choose like one thing that I really loved out of what we got, I would have to say it was a chicken wonton with spicy sauce. That one was, oh my God. Like I love spicy food, um, but this one, the spicy sauce wasn't even that spicy. And even our family friend that doesn't like spicy food, she tried it and she said it was really good too. Ooh, and also the chocolate and mochi xiaolongbao, that one was delightful. It was a little small, smaller than I expected. It was like bite size <laughs> for me. When you took a bite, it just like melt in your mouth. And I wish it was a bigger portion, but I would definitely go back and try that again because it was amazing. Um, the sweet taro bun, that one was good as well. The taro was, you can tell it was like real taro and it was fresh um, and it was really warm so it was a really good treat for a very cold day <laughs> um oh also i didn't illustrate this one but i for my drink i got the honey lemonade that one was good i mean it, i was expecting it to be a little bit more sweeter i it was like a hint of honey in there but the lemonade was bomb i actually wanted to try their boba but i don't know maybe next time yeah there were just a lot of things on the menu that we wanted to try but i think what we got was worth it so overall my experience at din tai fung was a great one you know all the waiters and waitresses were just so accommodating and just very helpful when we had questions i would definitely go back I would lo really love to go with like my whole family next time because we love our food. So anyway, that's it for this episode of Slice of Doodles. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!